sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. It's fun over here at Lauren Nicole Live. And let's get into Greece, okay? Recap. I had a month to get this together. My best friend from high school called me up. She's like, hey, for my birthday, I'm going to go to Greece. Like, can you make it? And I said, we going to make it. So, just to clarify, there are three of us going. It started off with me and my best friend from high school. We had to pick up her best friend from college's bag because she missed her flight, but her luggage came. Shout out to this guy. He helped us get all the way around the other side of the airport to check our bags so that we could make it to this flight on time. So, you know, if you know Philadelphia airport, it's not always, it's not always sunshine and rainbows. It's usually, you know, crap and dead things. But this time it was great. He was such a big help. The pizza was good. And, you know, we were able to board our flight on time and just get ready for the experience that was to come. We were in business class um, going there to Greece and it was nice. It was very nice. Um, one thing about me, I'm going to get boozy on a long flight. I was watching A Man from Toronto with Kevin Hart, funny movie, I enjoyed it, um, you know, for a plane watch and you know, the drink did not hurt. For sure, the drink did not hurt. Then they served us our dinner on the plane. My friend got meatloaf. I got the pasta option. And it was pretty good for plain food. I mean, I've had worse at people with a real kitchen. So, cannot be mad at that. Um, and then most of the time after that, I slept. So, it didn't even really matter. And around this point in the flight, we were about halfway to Athens. Um, I love screens like this, so I just know how much time I got, where I'm at, and what's going on. And once we got to over Greece, it was gorgeous. Like overhead, you can see everything. It was beautiful. From here, we ran off the plane. We got all the bags and we went to go meet the driver. So he had a sign up with my friend's last name on it. It was so cute, but I didn't get any footage. And from there, he picked us up, gave us some water because it was hot when we landed. It was 105 degrees there. They were in the middle of a terrible heat wave and Athens was just hot. Another thing that surprised me about Greece was how much graffiti there was like they have a lot of urban art and i really appreciated that once we got to the hotel we dropped our bags and we immediately went back out we went walking around on this little strip and we found this place called amelia's and we ate there because we were starving the food was good um it was a little hot to be eating this type of food when it was a heat wave like i said but it was amazing. Then we came back in to rest for a little bit because we were tired. And once we gathered ourselves, it was back outside. We're in a whole new country for the first time. I had never been here. She had never been here. We had to explore. So this is sweet. It's after dinner and it's digestive. Okay. Different parts of Greece, different name. Comes from grapes. When it's smooth, it's between grappa and tequila. When it's strong, it's vodka. Mm. But if in here mm. we have honey, we have racomelo. Racomelo is sweet, we can have it cold, we can have it hot. The best of all, this, one liter. Thank you. That's mastica. Smells good. Oh, wow. 
sweet. Yeah. It's almost like black licorice a little bit. Oh, yeah. Black rum. Black rum. Oh, yeah. Fish what? Fish roast salad, but it's like a dip. Roast salad and fried cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to try it. Baklava. All right, first bite. <laughs> it's because I was filming you. It's good. Mm. It's hard to tell here. Yeah, it's like, why aren't any of these street lights on? Sorry, y'all. I did not get to get a video of what I ate, but I only had spaghetti. After that, around 2 a.m., we went back to the hotel. And then the next morning, we got up. And that is actually the Acropolis. You can see through the trees. But first, we are heading to the Acropolis Museum, which is across the street. So the Acropolis Museum was actually built over part of the Acropolis ruins. And so all of the statues and ceramic work that you see here have been excavated from the Acropolis. You know what pieces like this always remind me of? SpongeBob. That one episode. Yeah. The big marks. Yeah. We are now on the third floor. The second floor was full of um, a shop and a little things. We'll probably go back down there later. I guess that's Athena, right? Because she has the and the Gorgon thing. Why does the centaur need a penis, Kira? Um, 
Oh no, poor lady. He got you, girl. A centaur trampling a dead lapis dick. <laughs> yeah. Ruthless. That's cheating. That, that, that. Where's my finger? That's cheating. Hi, right, Fair. What's a laugh, Beth? It's just um, people from a place. Oh. So. <laughs>to retrieve Simone because she was finally there and we kept it moving we head to the Athens subway system to go to Center City to the presidential mansion to see the changing of the guards in Sigtama Square I think that's how you say it subway surfing <laughs> no promises Oh, well, they got the thing like in Japan. Oh, yeah. What thing? Oh, uh, this guy.
this is the view. So at this point in the video, I know you're probably like, so Lauren, is Athens actually worth visiting? Like, be for real. And my short answer is yes, of course. But the long answer is it depends on what type of person you are. If you like architecture and art and food, and you know you're willing to go to a place and not just party and have that sort of vacation Athens is definitely a great place to visit I would say you don't need more than two to three days there if I'm being honest but it is definitely something you should add to your trip if you're going to Greece and I feel like you will be all the better for it. It is such a beautiful place with very kind people. Taking another rest here at the Acropolis. It is hot. surprised if the chef sink is completely It's going to bring our Athens vlog to a close. First, I wanted to say that my friend was just joking. I don't want y'all dragging her in the comments. We have been friends since for a long ass time. And since 2014, I have been telling her I was going to make a YouTube. And I was filming stuff and I ain't do nothing with it. But now we're here. Now we're Lauren Nicole live. Now I have people like you who are willing to sit for 20 minutes to see what I want, what I'm doing and what I have to talk about. And I really love and appreciate y'all for that. So if you made it to the end of this vlog, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you made it to the end, uh, leave an L and L and a smiley face in the comments below. So I know, I know who's out there watching, who made it here. And I hope to see you guys next week for Santorini and Mykonos. If you like this Athens vlog, this was a 10. Let me tell you, Santorini and Mykonos are a 10,000. We are going all the way up. We are all the way live. And I hope that you are there to enjoy it with me. Bye.